Introduction to Using Accordo. Accordo is an all-new proprietary tuning algorithm created by Electromedia Research and Development. It uses a groundbreaking and innovative approach. Accordo is included with BitDrive 2.0 and above. Using Accordo. The preparation for using Accordo is the same as when you're tuning a system manually. You'll need either a USB measurement microphone, such as a mini DSP, U-Mic 1, or comparable, or an XLR measurement microphone paired with a USB audio interface, such as a Behringer ECM-8000 and a UM2, or comparable. We recommend you have two powered USB extension cables. This lets you position the PC outside the vehicle cabin during the Accordo process. Connecting a source of clean 12 volts DC to the vehicle battery will maintain it during the Accordo process and the listening process that follows. The Accordo process itself doesn't take much time and it won't deplete a healthy battery, but often the vehicle battery has already been partially depleted during the installation of the system. Accordo generates its own test tones, so no downloads or CDs are required. Step one, confirming your signal. You might wonder why we need to confirm the signal if Accordo generates its own test tones. The reason is, as soon as Accordo is finished, we are going to listen to music from the source unit. So there's little reason to perform the Accordo process until we're confident that we're ready. With both aftermarket and OEM sources, we should confirm that left and right channels are connected correctly and front, rear, and sub-channels are correctly assigned. With OEM sources, we should go a step further and confirm that our signal is flat with phase and time alignment before we start. If the input signal is not flat, we should correct it with the input EQ before we proceed. If we detect an all-pass filter, we should correct for it before proceeding. The same goes for delay. We should correct for it before proceeding. If the signal is flat and phase and time are aligned, then we can go to the next step. Step two, enter the crossover points. Basic crossover points are automatically entered by the configuration wizard. Make sure the crossover points have been entered before proceeding. Best results are achieved with the optimal crossover points for the speakers you've installed. Step three, quality control test on the outputs. Using the solo button, play each speaker one at a time and confirm the proper speaker is playing in the vehicle. Correct any connection errors before proceeding to the next step. For more detail on these first steps, see tutorial episode five on tuning. Step four, set up your microphone. It's essential that you do this before you begin the Accordo process. Follow the instructions for the microphone you're using. A microphone stand is recommended for best results. Accordo can be used with the microphone in a horizontal, angled, or a vertical orientation, but the angled and vertical orientations require a mic stand. In many cases, a vertical orientation delivers the best results. Connect the microphone or the audio interface to the PC, either directly or using a powered USB extension cable. Accordo will perform two measurement sessions using this microphone. While the PC can be left inside the vehicle cabin during these measurements, the user should be outside the vehicle as the measurements are taken. The extensions allow the user and the PC to both be located outside the vehicle. Once you've connected the microphone to the PC, select the microphone under audio settings here. Don't worry about the resolution or the averaging settings. Optionally, if your measurement microphone comes with a calibration file, you may choose to load it into the system now. Click the open folder icon and select the proper correction file. Remember that many microphones have two calibration files one for zero degrees and one for 90 degrees.
If you're going to use a calibration file, make certain you use the one that matches the orientation of the microphone. Step five, bit drive preparation. Select the desired listening position you will be using with a Cordo and select the desired memory preset for Accordo to overwrite. By default, Accordo will overwrite memory preset one unless you select another memory preset. Make sure the final tuning EQ is either flat or bypassed. Now you're ready to use Accordo. Step six, start the Accordo wizard. Click on the wizard icon here and select the Accordo wizard. You should have already performed all of these listed preparations shown on the screen and you should be ready to go. Click start. By default, Accordo is going to adjust the levels, the delay and equalization and phase. Any of those three can be deselected here if you like. Click next. This screen will show you if any channels are muted. Confirm that all the listed channels are properly defined. Click Next. Now you can select a predefined target curve or you can define a new one. We will select a predefined target curve here. Click Next. What value should you put in this field for subwoofer level? Let me take a moment to explain. If you perform the Accordo process with your subwoofer control set at maximum, then that's as loud as your subwoofer will ever be able to be relative to the rest of the system. If you have a head unit with a subwoofer output level control or an external subwoofer amplifier with a level control knob, then set this value to zero dB. If you have an external subwoofer level control, whether it's in a head unit or attached to the subwoofer amplifier. Go ahead and turn it down below maximum before using a Cordo. This will give you a little bit of adjustability in both the higher and lower levels of your subwoofer using that control. You have to do this before you start the Accordo process. Now, if your system uses a DRC-AC or DRC-MP CAN controller to control the subwoofer level, or the Beacon Go application, set this value somewhere between negative 3 dB and negative 9 dB. Again, that'll give you the range to control your subwoofer later on. Note that if the subwoofer level is set too low here, Accordo will not be able to detect the subwoofer properly. And if this should occur, turn up the subwoofer level and repeat the Accordo process. When you click next, you'll have five seconds to exit the vehicle and close the doors. You can request a shorter or longer delay period than five seconds by clicking in the text field shown and editing it. Here, the level has been lowered 24 dB. Raise this level slider back up until the red signal low indicator turns green. When you click next, you'll have five seconds to exit the vehicle and close all the doors. At this stage, each speaker in the vehicle is being measured individually. At this point, the measurements are concluded and the calculations are being performed. Now, Accordo is complete. Accordo has repurposed some equalizer bands on each output channel to equalize the output of the system. Plenty of equalizer bands remain that we can use for optional fine tuning if we choose. Accordo has also set the output levels for each channel. The sub control is set to the value we specified earlier, in this case, negative 6 dB. This means we could use our DRC AC controller to increase the level of the subwoofer an additional 6 dB if desired. We can also see that the delays have all been set. Accordo has selected delay values that align all of the various channels. It's a good idea to save to your desktop and finalize to your bit device at this point.
Step seven, raise the output volume back up to the desired level for listening. Step eight, listen to music. Make any adjustments to the tonality of the system using the final tuning EQ. If you want to do any fine tuning using the individual output channel equalizers, there are several bands left available on each output channel for you to use. This is also a good time to adjust the level of the rear speakers. If rear speakers are too loud, imaging can be damaged as a result. Step nine, save and finalize for the last time. That's it. Notes on using Accordo. Accordo tunes for flat, full range, phase and time aligned sources. Many OEM sources require correction to meet this standard and deliver best results. In many cases, manual correction is required. Some USB microphones must be adjusted in Windows for the proper level. If Accordo reads signal high at this step, while the output is actually set low, like this, go into Windows and turn down the mic level as shown. If a Cordo reads signal low with the output set high, like this, go into Windows and turn up the microphone level as shown. As of BitDrive 2.0, a Cordo is not compatible with Maestro AR interfaces. Thanks for watching.